Went back to the hotel to change and then went to the next location for the photo shoot to get my hair and makeup ready. This elevator was so freaking cool. But honestly, I think you guys will be pretty proud of me, what I've been up to, and I can't wait to share it <laughs> to y'all. I haven't been in California in like, I think two or three years, and it feels pretty good to be back. No lie, these girls made me feel like a goddess. Look at that. Perfect makeup. Then it was on to the next location. Honestly, whenever we go on these photo shoots, David helps a lot. The team I worked with was amazing. They're easy to get along with, great to work with. I am truly blessed for this opportunity for them to help me out with my new brand. And I think y'all are going to love it. The weather in California was honestly like 75 and I'm used to like 100 degree weather. So I was so happy for a change. It was that time for the day when I was done. But no, honestly, we went back to the hotel and got something to eat, watched some Netflix and passed out. Watched the sunset on our balcony. It was super peaceful. Netflix and passed out. Yep, that's what we all thought that was. That would be a lighter and a pipe. <laughs> oh, Janelle. Now, even though Janelle has since teen mom started making a living of posting content of her family. I mean, that's relatable. You choose this life. If you choose to post content of your family, that is a choice. That is your choice. And she has reminded everybody that has been her choice. In fact, it is even in the description of her YouTube channel. As you see, after no, known for being on MTV's Teen Mom, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe to see Mom Vlogs updates with the family or squashing any current rumors okay she says right there plain as day she will give you updates on the family okay she not only says that in the description but she also regularly posts updates of her family with her family now plot twist apparently Jace, which is, I guess, is he 12 or 13 now? Either way, I understand I have a daughter around the same age. But now, since Jace is going through a lot, okay, we know the poor child has been through a lot. A lot of kids have. It's not his fault. Never has been. But now Janelle is out here speaking for him, and she continues to be like, he deserves privacy. He needs privacy. You're still posting about him. You're still doing it. And if you listen in her recent videos, which we'll listen to here in just a second, she says, I'm not going to give my side or talk about it f till like a month. <laughs> this girl. And on top of it all, David is now trying his hand at a rap career. O-M-G. Oh, I've got his little commercial that Janelle has filmed for him. Y'all. <laughs> These people better stop. So basically, they post content, or she does. She posts content, and she gets paid for it. She gets paid good money because she gets. A, she has a lot of subscribers. She got a lot of fans or haters that follow her. Either way, they follow her from being on the show Teen Mom. Okay, so naturally, she's cashing in on that following. Now, what she chooses to post, that's her choice, you know. Now, Janelle also posts on OnlyFans. Now, look at here. Look at here. I would never. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Girl, you've got a lot of kids and a husband. 
I mean, look. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. You could be... <laughs> Some of you women need to sit down and be uh, wives and mamas. I said it. I said what I said. I don't care if you say I'm shaming whoever. I said what I said. We all got rights to believe what we want. We all got our freedom to think how we choose, and that's how I think. But Janelle will get out here and post these things about how David is so good to them. And then the next breath, turn around and post some stuff like this. Yes. You're right, David Eason. I have depression because of you. I've been mentioning my feelings to the public for a few days now. Stolen debit cards, name calling, buying every toy you want in life, and asking for another motorcycle for weeks now. Planning and paying for all family trips. Having lots of fun in my own house when i was in tennessee in 2019 that i pay for not coming home until late hours hearing no one likes you that's why you don't have friends on top of lots of other negative things constantly pushing you off of me because i don't want you to touch me the constant put down i receive every day is distracting and would discourage anyone from focusing on their life which i'm not going to let happen ever again i'm sick of begging you to change and step up for the family it's time to start selling <laughs> oh my lord this is the type of stuff i'm talking about right here it's a circus over there y'all talk about a train wreck child this is more drama than sister wives ever had in all 18 seasons combined janelle got more drama in a month <laughs> Lord have mercy. And don't be tripping. Okay, these posts were just made in August. Uh-huh, of this year, August. And then she posted on August 11th, being around negative energy every day, all day, is getting exhausting. By the way, she's around David all day, every day. And that's it. We see him in her many, many posts. So, I mean, she literally tells the world that, that he's... That he's like negative and tells her bad things. She literally wrote it all out. Said nobody likes you. That's why you don't have friends. But then, I don't know. We supposed to support these people? What? Y'all, look at what David doing now. I cannot. And let's not forget about little Nugget. Rest in peace, little Nugget. Justice for Nugget. That dog. That poor little dog. Poor little dog. I bet you wasn't expecting me to pop out like that, huh? Well, you know there's a lot of critters out here in these woods that could just pop out at you any time, including me. Well, what happens when a country boy like me was born and raised out here with these critters just suddenly becomes famous? He's got to use those natural instincts to his advantage to protect his way of life and his family. And what do I mean by that? Well, you can find out by listening to my new single, Please don't make me drops this Friday, September 22nd. Uh, first off, since we hunt, I just want to point out, <laughs> you camo too clean. You ain't been in the woods in quite a while. You ain't used that camo in quite a while, or either you just bought it for this little skit. <laughs> Talking about when I become, or when I became famous. Child, you, you, famous? What? Oh, Lord, why don't we make stupid people famous? Make people like us famous who live this lifestyle. <laughs> hey, we'll take you hunting this evening, because we're going this evening, by the way. Actually, by the time this video is posted, it'll be a couple of days, but it'll already be done uploaded. See? If you want to watch mess like that, uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 Line our pockets. These people already live in a nice place and driving all these brand new vehicles. And they're not good people. <laughs> Why are we enabling bad people to continue to be bad? Hey, we out here just literally helping people out. Trying to make an honest living. Trying to get by and have nice things and do good things for other people. Unlike these people. But that's normally how it is. That's normally how it goes. 
Janelle out here exploiting her kids and have been since they was born. And then I get out here and tell somebody, mind your business. Just take a listen at what all she's saying. To surprise me, I swear. You're really, really gullible. If you want to believe something that maybe you read off the Sun or the Ashley or clickbait, you're wrong. You have no idea what you're commenting on. You don't know about any details of the situation. Yeah, all you guys want to sit here and continuously harass all my accounts. My son was never taken from my custody. My son is still in my custody. I still have primary custody. I don't know where these rumors are circulating or coming from, but until there's actual solid documentation attached to these articles, I would not believe anything that they say. They've done this to me my entire life. They've always smeared my name, especially the Ashley and especially the son. I am not commenting on my son's whereabouts because it's no one's business where my children are. It's no one's business of my children's location. You're not the family member. You have nothing to do with my children. Yeah, I agreed to film them and have them on MTV for a long time in their life, but um, it's over, it's done. Now I choose what I want to put out. I choose happy content over negative content. And if you think I'm not being thoroughly looked at right now, you have that wrong. Because I have already been checked, people have already been interviewed, and the people that are personally involved in this situation know exactly what's going on. I'm sick of the rumors. Everything's one-sided story right now. No one's heard my side. No one's going to hear my side, probably for another month or so, until things settle down and my son gets the privacy that he deserves. So please, stop badgering me. My kids are in my custody. And everyone else, they're here. They're alive, they're thriving. So, the other kids are doing great. Y'all don't need to be concerned about my family, worry about y'all's. Dum dum, somebody needs to tell you that your description says updates with the family. So if you don't want people asking updates on the family, maybe you should take it out of your description and your content. <laughs> Janelle has got to be high. She really does. She got to be high when she's talking all this nonsense. A lot of my son's actions is being pinned against me. And I'm getting a lot of hate, a lot of comments. It just keeps going and going and going. My son has been having a hard time for the past two, three years. None of this has gone public because we're trying to keep his privacy. Me and my mom, when she gave me custody, she's like, oh, we're just getting along. I'm just gonna give Janelle back. Well, there was a big reason behind why I got him back. For reasons we're not gonna discuss because like I said, it's my son's privacy. But I will say one thing, monitor your kids' phones. If they're teenagers and they have apps, they're on Snapchat, Snapchat's a bad one. Because, you know, I monitor my kid's phone and, you know, sometimes I get in trouble. Sometimes I need it taken away for the consequences to their actions, right? But sometimes they don't take that too lightly. And sometimes kids get really mad about their phones if you take them away. And it's kind of like an addiction to them because they're so attached to it. They my son is fine, he's healthy, and he's safe. Due to my son's mental health, none of this is going to be shared, and I don't want to really go into detail with anything. So if you can kindly please give us the privacy and give my son the privacy right now, I'd appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure he would appreciate you respecting his privacy too. You literally post him non-stop on your social media because it gets you clicks and views. Be real. You're exploiting your kid for your own monetary gain, and then you're pointing fingers at everybody else. Mm-hmm. We see you. I will never for the life of me understand how this is the type of people who succeed in content creating because it's just, I don't know. Janelle posts similar content as me with the, with the exception of her smoking the weed and putting the pipes and all that and then just i don't know she posts similar content meaning she posts her life and we live very similar lives oddly enough we do
but I'm sick of this. I am sick of lining these people's pockets. David is a horrible human being, and Janelle is too for promoting him and standing by him. I mean, did we forget about the whole interview and her, you know, just defending David while the other people, the MTV producers and literally everybody else was talking about how horrible David was and how horrible he spoke to people, especially women? We've all seen how he acts. Okay, he chooses to target women, and this is horrible. We remember the 911 call from Janelle. I mean, it's just... Listen to this video. Hit something or hit Ensley because I'm like not paying attention to him. Doris told me about an incident today. Mm -hmm. I can't even recall the details, but you probably should call her and hear a little bit about what happened. She said she was a little concerned. Um, he also said to me on the way home, out of nowhere, he said that uh, I think he called something stupid and Ellis said that's a bad word. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, David will put, David says he put, he's going to put soap in my mouth and I'm going to bubble for a week. No, he did tell him that one time. Also, I think, I think I have to tell Kaiser or I have a talk with him, let him know that David won't be around anymore. So he's okay and like relieved, like he's allowed to talk now. Oh yeah. Because I don't want him to feel like that. Yeah, which he's away, Kaiser's away from it now, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be great. Boy, if I made the money Janelle made off my YouTube content and off the content I posted on social media, let me tell you something. I'd be doing good things in this world. I'd be feeding the homeless and clothing the homeless. Yes, ma'am. Sure would. Come on over there to our vlog channel and help us achieve those goals. I'm serious. I am honestly serious right now this is such a crooked and upside down world we live in content creators like that get all the opportunities make all the money and it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but it's like people like me i'm guilty because just me viewing that right there just me viewing her i still lined her bank account sad mm. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, that's what Janelle Evans Eason has been up to lately. Like and share this video. Please don't forget, click the description below this video. And go subscribe to our vlog channel, Southern Adventures. It is good quality, entertaining, lighthearted content, and it is nothing like Janelle and David's relationship. This is pure love. Pure love. That should be what's getting the thousands of views. Not all this hate and David's abusive to kids and killing dogs. How pathetic. Anyway, I love y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.